I'm Glenn Dyer, and you are watching A Dyer Situation. Today, I'm going to look at the big blockbuster film, Hotel Transylvania. And I am so sorry, I know it's been out for over a month and nobody gives a shit anymore. But, but I have nothing else to see. I, uh, I've misplaced my ID so I cannot see any R-rated movies. And this is the only thing I haven't seen that isn't also R-rated. So, um, crappy cartoon it is for me. What do you think of the movie? Uh... Honestly, despite my last statement, I think it'll be alright. I've been hearing a lot of flack about it, though. So, I assume that it's gonna be alright, but then again, I I could be easily be wrong. Like, uh, very easily. So, um, I guess we'll just see in uh, a little bit. Ciao. That was terrible. I'm not even sure where to begin. I mean, like, there were terrible acting jobs, there was, there was a terrible story, terrible characters. I, I don't know where to begin. You know, uh, boy, this was really bad, you know. At the beginning, you know, like, during maybe the first ten minutes or so, I was like, oh, this this could be pretty good. I mean, like, they had, they had a couple of funny gags going on there, and, you know, the monster characters were interesting and stuff, and uh, the bit about the girl wanting to flee home is pretty obvious, and, but whatever, you know, it's, it was okay. It was okay. Not very good, but it was okay. And then he showed up. Yes, Mr. Red-Haired Surfer guy. I don't even remember his name. <laughs> uh, well, he's annoying. He is an annoying fucktard. Um, I don't know what else to say about that. It was terrible. Uh, like, there's every word, I swear, every word that guy said made me want to strangle him. He he was just a walking disaster, that's all I can say. And you know what? He's not the only one. All of the characters in there are completely one-dimensional. The dad is a one-dimensional, overprotective parent. The kid, his, his daughter is a one-dimensional Disney princess. And that, kid, that guy is a one-dimensional idiot that we're supposed to like. But I don't end up liking because he's an idiot. And it was terrible absolutely awful. Like, and you know what? You know what? <laughs> Something funny? They're all overacting. All of them. That's the animation's fault for that. Literally, every move is like, <laughs> I don't know what to make of that. It's, that's so, ugh. And you know, and you know what? After the first ten minutes, like, once he showed up, seriously, I think the whole thing fell over from there. Like, as I mentioned, it was okay. It just started to tank after that. Like, really bad jokes. Like, nothing really funny happening. In fact, some things were just kind of weird. And, yeah, that was it. The movie should have just ended right there. It would have saved us a lot, saved me a lot of time and a lot of money. Yes, I paid, I paid discount for this and I still think I was ripped off. Like, my god. Is it after after the first ten minutes there was only one joke towards the very end that made me laugh. It was like a it was a Twilight reference. It was it was freaking hilarious. But after that it was it was uh, like all the rest of it. All the rest of it. Oh wait, wait, I lied, there are some funny things. In the trailers, I think I'm starting to see what Rob was talking about. Like it any how uh, any funny joke gets put into the trailers and then it's just spoiled for you, even though it could have been really funny in context. Uh. So yeah, yeah. Um, I am agreeing with most people on this one. This was a terrible movie. I recommend it to no one. And uh, yeah, that's all I can really say about that. Uh, so. 
And without further ado, I'm Glenn Dyer, and this has been a dire situation.